Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather this morning to celebrate the Eucharist, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St. Paul Meek and his companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession we may hold with courage and even unto death to the faith that we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, through the law, I died to the law, that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, yet I live, no longer I, but Christ lives in me. Insofar as I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for, us, for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our, for, our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, 
they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees, and favor me with your laws. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthy and fitly proclaim his holy gospel in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Be reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In 1547, St. Francis Xavier went to Japan and began to preach the Gospel, and he was quite successful there. He made a lot of converts and so on. And then some 50 years later, um, Father Paul Meeke and some of his companions, uh, they continued to preach and proclaim the gospel, and they were doing quite well too. But the Spanish and the Portuguese are trying to establish a, uh, trade relationships with, with Japan, and one of the uh, officers of one of the Spanish ships began to proclaim that the missionaries were preparing the way for the Spanish to come in and take control. Well, when the king heard that, he started the bloody persecution of the Christians. And Paul Meeke and 25 of his companions uh, were led across the country in a big uh, procession, uh, making it a big public event. And they were tortured along the way and uh, made fun of and so on. And then on this day, they were crucified, all 26 of them. And so today we celebrate their feast when they were martyred and, and put to death. Um, but they had helped sow the seed of faith in, in Japan, and uh, it still carries on today. And I was pleased to hear that even our daily Mass is, uh, is watched by people in Japan, so it's basically still uh, not a Christian country, but it's nice to know that uh, the work of Paul Meeke and his companions and St. Francis Xavier still has effect there, and church continues to grow, even though in a small way. So we celebrate these great people. Um, they were uh, men and uh, some boys, uh, servers and things like that, who were all crucified and then uh, they were given the death blow with a, a lance pierced in their hearts as Jesus was pierced on the cross too. We always have to realize that the age of martyrs wasn't something that took place a long time ago. This is the age of martyrs too. And we don't hear much about it but in so many countries of the world, especially in Muslim countries and other countries, Christians are persecuted every day. And very often their lives are at stake. And um, especially in holidays, Christmas, Easter, uh, their churches are bombed, their schools are burned. And you have to be careful if you just even, um, well, if you're accused of saying something bad against Stalin, even though you didn't say anything, if the accusation is made, You'll spend months in prison before you even have a hearing, and then usually receive, receive a, a severe penalty. So it's good for us to realize that while we profess our faith so easily here in the United States, uh, other people in other parts of the world, um, their lives are literally at stake any time they profess their faith, and yet they're so willing to do so. 
and as a result, we should feel kind of ashamed of ourselves when we're even afraid to make the sign of the cross in a public restaurant, somebody might see us. Um, wow. So we really need to think about that and then be more bold and courageous about proclaiming our faith to others. And we don't have to be master theologians to do that. It's so simple, you already know the basics. There are four main pillars to our faith, the creed, the sacraments, commandments, and prayers. And you certainly should know all that. And if you just recite the Apostles' Creed, that can take a half an hour to explain. And then we have the 20 Mysteries of the Rosary, a summary of the life of, Je of Jesus. So we, we have all the, the tools we need. We just have the courage to go out and share our faith willingly with others, starting with family members and making sure that they are knowledgeable with our children and grandchildren. And by the way, our grandchildren today are going to our school here could probably explain our faith better than anybody else. Just ask a third grader what Catholics believe, and you'll be surprised. They'll say, I'm glad you asked that question. Creed, sacraments, commandments, and prayer. And then they know it all. Uh, we can learn a lesson from them. So today, anyway, we honor these great martyrs, and we ask God to give us the courage to be strong and bold in the practice of our faith and be willing to share it with others by what we say and do. With that in mind, let us pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, your Son Jesus calls us all to be his disciples. Help us to study our faith and then be able to explain it to others, uh, not just by our actions, but also by our words. Grant us this, Lord, of the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, mm -hmm. and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims of the war in Gaza and Israel and in Russia and the Ukraine, that peace may soon come to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those consecrated to God by the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, that they may seek to live their baptismal promises more intensely and have the grace to persevere in their commitment to the Lord and serve with open hearts and willing spirits. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all victims of snowstorms, floods, and other natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the workers that are building our parish center, that they may be kept safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the priests of the Archdiocese that are gathered at Schuyler this couple days, that the Holy Spirit will extend His grace upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray for all of our unspoken needs and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for Pat Hegeman. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy, murder, holy martyrs, Paul Meek and his companions, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave it to his disciples, giving thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving 
this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, which are blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, St. Isidore, St. Paul Meek and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children throughout, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to our the passion from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form but united teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be, done, be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us Let this day our, our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as, as we, we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into <laughs> temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ. 
Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you have you ready there, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 344, Gift of Finest Sweet. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to be. Let us pray. O Lord, you have willed that we be partakers of the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Please join together in praying the prayer for the successful completion of our parish center. Loving Father, Father we come, come to you in adoration. adoration. May, May our, our hearts, hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. journey. You, you have bestowed, bestowed in your church community redeemed, the gift to openly worship and praise, praise your name. We, we humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. And talents. Jesus, Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit, Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled prairie center, center for all generations. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, pray, pray for us. us. Send us your Lord, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. 
Our final hymn is number 387, The Summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you Will you is in you and you in me. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.